Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to do something real backyard barbecue-ish. We make it baked beans! So, snap from scratch. Stop playing. You already know what it is. So right here, I have half of a green bell pepper. I have one whole small yellow onion. And I have about one-fourth of a stalk of celery. And if you can just smell that. I know you got a whiff, right? You see that steam? We're getting this nice and translucent, okay? We're going to put that over there for a second. Let's talk about this. This is the star. This is a pinto bean. This soaked. All right? Okay. Mmm. All right. What we're going to do with this is right now at this point, because I'm going to show you what translucent is. You can see a green pepper right there through that, that yellow onion. That's translucent. We want to see that. Um, let's get under there. That's the type of heat you're looking for. This is about the size of the pot you need. This just gives me old school. I'm making something from scratch vibes. You can use a plastic um, utensil if you want, okay? Non-stick preferably. This is about a bag of dried pinto beans or two cans of cooked. I use two cans of cooked because anybody got time for that. So I'm gonna lay this up because I'm lazy and this is the quickest way I know how to do it. I'm gonna grab some sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. This gives it the I got invited to the picnic because I'm cool vibes, right? Then we're going to take garlic powder. And I know you said it in the top of the brown voice and I don't really care. And then I'm going to take my smoked barbecue seasoning. See why I'm doing this, right? That's how I do the measurement, right? Then I got some black pepper or pimente negra for my Latinas. And that's, that's about how much I want. Then I'm going to use this uh, can of tomato sauce. Probably got it at a pantry because I've been cutting corners. That's on my blog. <laughs> no shame in my game. This is about, what, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. You didn't see none of that. Got it. <laughs> and then good old yellow mustard. Okay. Um, that, if that doesn't say cookout, you didn't hear that. I don't know what does. And that's about as much as I want. Okay. Notice I didn't add any salt yet. You have all this going on right now. And you're going to mix this all up. Yeah, you could have opened a can of Bush's baked beans and you would have been done. Did you hear that? It got quiet, right? Because it's about to go down. You gotta mix all of this up. Do you see that? That didn't even happen yet. Nothing happened yet. This is just the ingredients to, like, I feel like a witch. Boil, boil, boil these beans. <laughs> but seriously, this is gonna be amazing. It's gonna taste, obviously, home scratch. The only, the only thing shortcut we really did was use canned beans now again if you want to take the time you can for example i'm gonna show you because a lot of people like dried beans what are those something like this these are pigeon peas now if i wanted to just time consumingly put them in a nice shallow dish or whatever the case is and soak them and you know change the water whatever you can okay that's a dry bean also Split green peas. The again, you can soak these and then tear it up. It's the same concept, okay? So that's what I mean by dry beans. So you know that I, I I do give it up when I feel like it, but I don't feel like doing this. Okay. Now I'm gonna zoom in. See that? That's the beginning. And the the, the heat has not changed. 
we want it to resemble slow cooked baked beans for all day you know like <laughs> like i don't know if anybody's ever seen um the competitions like the barbecue competitions on tv food network i know i'm not the only fat ass that's sitting at home watching it with snacks and stuff right so on those shows you'll see that they put the meat in the slow cookers for like a gajillion hours and then they put the baked beans in like a cast iron skillet in the ground okay so we are like i mean this is the ultimate cheat like come on now i don't gotta put this in a dig a hole and bury some beans i'm gonna keep it nice and low i'm gonna taste this so i can adjust it uh if you want it sweeter obviously you would add more brown sugar if you're more conscious of your sugar turbinado sugar works in this as well um, I, ha I would not suggest stevia or anything like that. Let's let's not be ridiculous, okay? Uh, if you don't want to put in the green peppers, you don't have to. I love old things, green peppers. So that's your choice. Again, you don't have to use pinto beans. A lot of people use navy beans. Listen, whatever floats your boat. As long as it ain't pork and beans out of a can, I love it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this is just another excuse to cook something better for yourself and and add some you know this is going to add some fiber to your diet this is this is adding you know flavor not only that but it's soul food it's like comfort food you get what i'm saying like this with some rice you could add quinoa to this you could you could make better choices you don't have to settle for something out of a can and i kind of hesitated to even make the video because i'm like oh this might take a little bit but I mean, look at it. It looks like it's been sitting here for like three hours already. And like I showed you, the beans are tender already. So you're really just trying to pour into that that bean, the flavor that you just added. Let me taste it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I had to walk away. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. That is everything right now. It is tangy as hell. I like the pepper. I don't have to add any salt. I did not add not one bit of salt. Not one. I rinsed off the can of beans. It's two cans of pinto beans. Like I said, I'm going to leave all the ingredients and stuff in the description box. But honey. Honey. Uh, that is lethal right there. Now, you want to spice it up, you could add red pepper flakes. You could add half of a jalapeno in here. You could also take this, put it in an aluminum pan like you would do for a barbecue. And you will bake this in the oven very slow. And it will, it will caramelize because of the brown sugar. Again, if you want to increase any of the measurements, you, you, you do what you need to do. Knock yourself all the way out. But, um, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. You can also, hey, <laughs> hey, don't, don't call me crazy. But you could also slice some sausages in here. And have, you know, some sausage and beans and throw that over some rice. You understand what I'm saying? You could serve this with some steamed corn on the cob. Hello. I mean, this is crazy. You could ground some beef. Sloppy Joe's on some Hawaiian rolls. Like this is, this is, this is legendary. I'm just going to be the first to say it. This is legendary right here. Okay. So try it. You see what I just did. I went the fuck off. Okay. So listen real fast. I can't stress that enough. Okay, I'm going to put all of this ingre the ingredients and, and all that good stuff. Look at this bubbling. What you doing over there? And I'm going to put all of that in the description box. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you try this. And I love you for watching. You know, you can always like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. You already know what to do. Um, you want to see this and many more videos, let me know. Oh, my God. Don't be surprised if this is going. Don't be surprised when people ask you to do this again. Don't. 
All right, this is going to stay on the stove. I'm going to do um, five, five again. Um, I'm going to leave it on until 11, five. We're going to give it another 10 minutes. And what I'm going to even do further, this is how you intensify things. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Let it stew in the juices that it needs. It's going to be a beauty. Um, so again, I love you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I did. And I'm going to enjoy this meal. So until I see you again, may your next meal be the best meal. Later.